All right, welcome to everybody joining us for our webinar Wednesday today with In Computing. I uh, will give everybody just a few minutes to get in and settled in to make sure everybody has audio and everything. So um, thanks for joining us again and uh, look forward to what's coming in just a few minutes. still have some people trickling in we'll wait just another couple of minutes uh, before we get started but thanks to everybody who attended and is joining with us today And by the way, while we're waiting, we do have uh, Q&A available uh, and also the chat. So feel free to utilize those today uh, and or you know, hit the little button to raise your hand if you have that showing. Uh, we'll try to make sure we get all of the questions answered as they come in as, uh, or as we are have it available, have some time available to answer them. All right, I think we can go ahead and get started. So uh, again, kind of thanks for everyone who's here and joining us today uh, for our webinar Wednesday this week with uh, In Computing. And uh, I am Harvey Green, uh, one, of the, one of the solutions architects here at Zintegra. Um, I have a couple people on me today. We'll get into uh, introducing them in just a few moments. Um, but thanks again for joining us today. Um, happy to have you. So uh, Richard, you can go ahead and go to the next slide there. If, um, there we go. If you guys have not already heard, uh, this is Zintegra in, in combination with In Computing today, we have a work has no boundaries giveaway. Uh, we're giving away a Bronco and uh, we have a 2023 Bronco that'll be coming out uh, next year as the giveaway. 
Uh, feel free to go out to the Zintegra.com slash Bronco giveaway site to go register so that you can have your chance to uh, win the Bronco. And uh, maybe, maybe you can take me for a test drive. <laughs> All right, you can go ahead, Richard. So uh, for those of you who don't know about Zintegra, uh, we do a, a bunch of different things. One of, you know, one of which is to do webinars like this that cost you $0 to join. Uh, another one we already talked about, we're giving away a Bronco. Uh, we do a lot to try to make sure that we are making sure we're taking care of our customers, uh, meeting you guys where you are and taking you into the future. So. In doing that, uh, we're a value-added reseller. Uh, we also perform services. Those services could be consulting services, uh, professional services. They could be hosting services, managed services. Uh, we've got a lot of offerings that, that we can uh, help you with. And uh, we're very solutions-oriented. So you can always bring the hard questions to us, uh, even if you don't know how you're going to accomplish something. Uh, we're, we're very adept at making sure that we guide you in the right direction, help you see the roadblocks and help, help you get around those so that you don't even have to hit them first. So um, try, we pride ourselves on being very much end to end. Uh, and, you know, we, we want to make sure, as, as you see here, our, our founder and CEO of uh, Zintegra, Mr. Andy Whiteside, his, his quote here is, the Zintegra business model is simple, build a community and then create solutions that serve that community. And uh, we, we do a lot to make sure things like that happen. Um, we also do a lot of events that you guys may or may not have seen. Uh, if you head out to our website, Zintegra.com, take a look at the events page. Uh, we've got events happening all over the, the country here. And so we'd be happy if you're able to join any of those, as many as you want. Um, we do also have some that are virtual. We've got some that are in person. Uh, they range from, you know, just jumping on and having a user group meeting all the way out to, I think we've had like comedy shows and axe throwing and things like that too. So we've got a lot of different events to make sure that we're community building and uh, making sure not only that you get to hear some of the, the important stuff from us, but also your peers in the industry uh, so that you can compare notes and strategies. <clears throat> so uh, as I said, I'm Harvey Green, and yes, I am the third <laughs> all my life. Uh, I am based in, right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, and husband and father of two kids, uh, 11 and eight. And I've uh, been in the industry now for a little over 20 years, which always makes me feel old every time I say it. I've uh, been with the Integra family for a little over six years at this point. And I also lead the Zintegra Gov organization, which is concentrating on SLED and Fed customers. So state and local government, education, and federal government. So uh, I have with me today, who's going to be presenting, uh, there he is, Mr. Richard. Richard, can you give the people an introduction to you? Yeah, thanks, Barbie. Uh, my name is Richard, uh, I'm the CTO of N Computing. Um, so thanks everyone for your time to uh, take the opportunity to learn about N Computing. So I have, uh, um, I'm a father of three, so very busy. And uh, I have been with the N Computing family for about seven years. The company uh, itself has been around for almost two decades. And we have a very singular focus, which is providing a very secure, affordable uh, endpoint solution for different VDI market. And um, um, our operation is actually quite global. We have uh, people in six different countries, 120 plus employees. Um, we're well known for our uh, easy to use, easy to deploy um, solutions with our own software and hardware uh, platforms. And uh, we cover many different verticals across basically almost every single country. Uh, we have customers in just about every single country and ship over uh, several million devices until today. Um, so I'm very excited to share uh, 
our offerings. Uh, but before I get into that, I, I think I want to cover um, the big picture, what's going on with pandemic, where we're heading uh, before we dive a little bit deeper. So um, let's go over the high level trends, which presents challenges for many different organizations. Um, you know, this is not news. Global chip shortage is still ongoing based on many analysts prediction. Um, the supply chain will continue to face uh, constraint uh, at least through the first half of 2023. Uh, very likely it will continue to the end of next year. And when this happens, semiconductor equipment manufacturer, they tend to focus on higher end uh, ASP products. Um, so PC laptop, uh, the lead time is quite long and they focus on the higher end uh, due to the margin. So it has been uh, pretty uh, challenging for organizations who want to procure uh, new, uh, hardware devices. Uh, pandemic is better, uh, but uh, working from home uh, will continue to stay as a very critical element, whether it's full-time or hybrid. Um, so how does the admin you know, make sure um, there's no data leakage? How do you prevent uh, you know, the virus from injecting into the device? You know, if the device is shared, how do you essentially manage those devices? Um, those are ongoing challenges. Um, data pro proliferation, we have starting to see companies um, small, medium companies and starting to see a larger companies, um, they don't want to go through the hassle of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, keeping up with their on-prem and they want to migrate to the cloud. So a lot of challenges, uh, you know, uh, moving to the cloud, how do you migrate the storage computing, uh, make sure those are secure, uh, can be used by a mobilized workforce, Data security is very important. How do you protect your data, the, the user content? Uh, how do you safely deliver application desktop? Um, so those are the ongoing challenges I think many um, IT organizations are facing. And our goal, um, you know, we have been looking at this uh, even before pandemic, it's kind of the heart of the VDI solution, but um, during the pandemic, I think we found out a lot of interesting use cases and we have expanded our product portfolio uh, quite a bit to address that. And our goal is really to provide um, a very secure centralized managed uh, platform, uh, endpoint platform uh, that are optimized. Uh, we focus on two ecosystems. One is Microsoft and the other one is Citrix. Uh, so from an endpoint, uh, uh, we have two different parts. One is the software endpoint solution that can extend the useful life of aging PC laptop and convert them into a high performance, uh, you know, either Citrix endpoint or Microsoft endpoint. Uh, also, um, the Send solution can be used as uh, to enable uh, BYOD, so you can boot uh, your PC uh, laptop uh, from home using a bootable pen drive. And that instantly uh, provides you with a secure, isolated environment for you to access your VDI. And for organizations that want to really have to upgrade the hardware, whether uh, corporate PC or they want to provide them for uh, employee agents to work from home, uh, one of the benefits moving to cloud computing is storage and compute resources are now in the cloud. So we are able to provide a very cost-effective but yet high-performance endpoint that does um, this uh, desktop computing uh, all the way down to the Raspberry Pi platform. Um, so uh, we have uh, we're the first to market with Raspberry Pi home solution. We're the largest provider uh, till now uh, based on the Raspberry Pi uh, endpoint. Uh, we have also recently expanded uh, to uh, the uh, x86-64 uh, Intel Blaze uh, Think Client. So those are uh, very cost-effective solution, but yet highly optimized for Citrix and for Microsoft. And um, last but not least, um, you know we do a lot of integration, deep integration uh, with uh, Citrix and Microsoft. Uh, we have close uh, relationship with uh, their uh, R&D team, and uh, our solutions are certified on both platforms. 
Let's look at um, the different vertical markets. Uh, so we have uh, design wings across basically uh, many different uh, vertical markets, finance, healthcare, manufacture, all the way to you know retail, BPO, education, and more. Um, we, I think we have probably 20 different segments where customers have deployed the solution. Uh, end of the day, I, I think there's a com commonality uh, why they pick this type of solution. Uh, which is to reduce the total cost of ownership uh, for end user computings. And we will get into uh, a little bit more specifics on the benefits, the savings, uh, why it makes sense for uh, many of our customers, and maybe uh, this is something that can help your organization. Uh, white in computing, uh, well, uh, we have been in the BDI market, uh, especially endpoint for the last two decades. Um, so it's in our DNA. Um, our solution are uh, certified. Uh, so as I mentioned, we focus on Citrix, uh, whether it's uh, ABD, uh, Windows 365, uh, or you know, Microsoft RDS for on-prem, um, or Citrix. Uh, we are officially certified uh, endpoint solution, uh, whether it's a thin client or also uh, software endpoint. Uh, the solution is very simple to deploy. Um, it's very powerful in the sense we do a lot of the deep optimization and also at the right price point. Uh, so we have a combination of Leaf OS software endpoint solution uh, for the x86-64 uh, market. PC laptop, you can either uh, repurpose or you can do uh, you know, live boot to enable bring your own device uh, use case. Or if you uh, want to purchase new endpoint, uh, we have a um, very inexpensive, affordable uh, endpoint based on Raspberry, based on Intel platform that are secure and centrally managed. The other aspect with um, this type of architecture um, is we are operating system on the endpoint is based on fully locked down, stripped down Linux operating system. Um, so the attack service is shrinked, uh, you know, uh, exponentially uh, because it's fully locked down. The admin can control what patches can be applied. We also support our secure boot uh, platform, um, x86 platform, to provide chain of trust. Basically, when you boot up the device, uh, it will execute, uh, you know, at a different software component, component level to make sure uh, all the software are um, yeah, authenticated. Um, so that provides enterprise level security. Uh, last but not least, the total cost of ownership. And I think that's why many of the customers have been uh, loyal and computing customer is we help them save money. Uh, there are three parts to the equation, uh, the acquisition cost. So with LeafOS, uh, they can delay the PC purchasing cycle by repurposing them into a high performance lockdown endpoint. We also have very affordable uh, new hardware thin clients. Uh, they can pick and choose. Um, the second part of the equation is ongoing maintenance. Uh, PMC endpoint manager is uh, our uh, single pane of glass uh, management system to manage all the end computing devices. Uh, so whether patch apply, uh, automatic provisioning, it can be easily done by admin anywhere. And uh, um, new endpoints, uh, we have a very low cost uh, and also low power consumption devices. So they can also save uh, consumption on the energy. So total cost of ownership um, is, uh, is one of the, the end user benefit that uh, people really benefit from the, the solution. Now let's take a deeper look into our endpoint solution offering for Microsoft. Um, so on the left, you see you know, laptop, it can be repurposed, um, or you can use uh, BYOD to enable, uh, you know, bring your own device, or uh, Microsoft, I'm uh, sorry, uh, thin clients, uh, Raspberry Pi, or our x 16 client. They can, the user can uh, easily access uh, Citrix um, on-prem in the cloud, um, stored from uh, Microsoft, whether it's uh, ABD, uh, Windows 365, or on-prem. All the devices can be uh, centrally managed by uh, PMC, uh, which is an endpoint manager that can be deployed on-prem or uh, in the cloud. Um, and that really streamlines 
the, uh, the onboarding of new devices, the ongoing maintenance, and also uh, future any kind of future patch management. This is how uh, we view the endpoint solution platform by segments. Uh, so Microsoft, um, you know, what we have seen in our customer base, uh, we start to see a lot of uh, interest and uh, adoption has accelerated for AVD Azure Virtual Desktop. Um, Azure Virtual Desktop, uh, for those who may not be familiar, it's a desktop as a service solution offered by Microsoft. Um, it is the the only solution that allows uh, Windows, Windows 10 uh, to provide multi-user support. So that really cuts down uh, your per user cost. Uh, Windows 365 is uh, a more prosumer uh, type of uh, desktop as a service uh, deployment based on the user per month subscription, regardless of your usage. Uh, remote desktop services is very popular for on-prem. Uh, some customers are moving to Azure Cloud or uh, even Amazon Cloud. Um, so those tend to be uh, SMB and uh, small medium enterprise uh, market. For Citrix, those are predominantly uh, larger enterprise market that has been using Citrix for some time. And based on our um, different solutions, um, so at the heart, we have Leaf OS, the software endpoint solution. So it can be uh, used on any computing hardware, a pre-bundle Leaf OS operating system, uh, or it can be used on third-party hardware. Uh, on the left, you see our Raspberry Pi 4-based platform, uh, RX420 RDP. Uh, it's highly optimized for uh, Microsoft uh, you know, the solution. We do a lot of deep um, optimization. Um, if you compare to different solutions out there, uh, we outperform in terms of performance, in terms of USB peripheral com compatibility. Uh, it has uh, gained a lot of popularity among the different vertical markets. For Citrix market, um, so Lego solution, uh, as I mentioned, uh, is pre-bundled in our EX500, which is an Intel-based uh, platform. Uh, it can also be used as, as um, on a third-party hardware solution, uh, whether it's repurposing or uh, uh, enable BYOD through a bootable pen drive. And we have success deployment across the different vertical markets. In addition, based on um, you know, several customer requests, uh, we have partnered with our strategic um, partners, solution providers, uh, Stratodesk and iGel. Uh, so we have different flavors of Citrix solution based on the Raspberry Pi. Um, so we uh, want to provide choices for our uh, customers to make. Um, and we believe we have a very compelling uh, platform uh, that are affordable, uh, but highly optimized for um, the different VDI solution and uh, cover different vertical markets. Now let's take a deeper look into our integration with Citrix and Microsoft. Um, so whether you have virtual apps, virtual desktop, uh, running in Citrix Cloud or uh, storefront on-prem Citrix, or you have remote desktop, remote apps running on uh, ABD, uh, Windows 365, they also call, call Cloud PC, or remote desktop services. Um, you can address them, uh, the end-user computing requirement through hardware thin clients and also software endpoint. Um, so as I mentioned, these are the different devices. For um, Citrix, we have done a lot of deep optimizations, uh, for example, with the Leaf OS, a software endpoint solution. Um, so Teams optimization, you can offload video, audio for great quality of service without burdening your Citrix server. Uh, extensive uh, USB peripheral support, so webcam, you know, signature pad, smart card readers, uh, you name it. Um, and you can uh, also use on third-party platform to really enable this on any third-party uh, hardware or uh, in a BYOD device without uh, affecting the underlying window operating system. Uh, the other one is uh, uh, Microsoft. Uh, so we actually have done a lot of optimization. Uh, in fact, we're the first one 
uh, to enable uh, video conferencing in ABB session uh, with great quality. Uh, we're working on Teams optimization, so that will be coming out uh, in Q4 timeframe. And all the solution uh, can be uh, managed through a, a single pane of glass, our PMC endpoint manager. And uh, I will get into a little bit more detail. Um, essentially, uh, it's easy to onboard new devices, easy to deploy. Uh, there are, there are um, several uh, powerful ways you can manage your devices that are very easy uh, to learn. And you can monitor um, the deployment live and uh, help your users um, real time. Um, so uh, very easy to deploy and very easy to use uh, from both admin and from user standpoint. Um, this is an overview uh, of our Raspberry Pi Think client, uh, RX420 RDP and RX440 RDP. Uh, the focus here is really on the Microsoft ecosystem. Um, so if you, your organization or your customer needs, uh, you know, a VDI solution from Microsoft, whether it's ABD, Windows 365, uh, or RDS, um, this is the, the, the most, uh, I guess, by, best price performance platform uh, out there in the market. Uh, we have done a lot of deep uh, optimization to leverage, you know, uh, all the way down to the, the kernel level to bring the best possible performance, um, extensive uh, USB peripheral support, including, uh, you know, smart card readers, uh, webcam, touch screen, and so forth. And again, uh, everything can be managed uh, by uh, PMC Endpoint Manager. Uh, we also have a local Chromium browser in case if the user uh, want to access some native web application without uh, going through the VDI session. Um, the, this uh, thing fine uh, can be based on the two gig platform uh, and four gig platform. So four gig platform is recommended if uh, the, the customer plan to use the local browser extensively. Uh, otherwise, the two gig uh, would be ideal for um, the traditional VDI uh, type of access usage. Here's an overview of our EX400 Think client. Uh, it is powered by our LeafOS software endpoint. Uh, we pre bundle the operating system. It's based on perpetual license. So once you buy the device, uh, you can use it indefinitely, uh, including our PMC endpoint management uh, licenses. Everything just works. Uh, in this uh, Think client, uh, we support Citrix. Uh, in addition to the existing one, uh, Microsoft, we also have our own uh, desktop virtualizations, uh, which is very popular for the education market because it is uh, based on Linux uh, x86-64 platform. We have the ability uh, for organization uh, to add their own, uh, custom local application. So uh, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, uh, they have ways to prepackage uh, their Linux application and uh, add it uh, to uh, EX500 for deployment. And um, the, the beauty of this is it has everything. So uh, Gigabit Ethernet, dual band Wi-Fi, uh, we included many popular VPN clients, no additional licensing, uh, extensive support uh, across all the different VDI platforms we support. Uh, and PMC endpoint, um, it's also included as well. A very small footprint, uh, low energy consumption. Uh, we uh, launched it in July, June, July timeframe. Uh, it has been very, very popular uh, among our existing customers. So let's talk a little bit more about uh, LeafOS. Uh, LeafOS can be run on any third-party uh, hardware platform. And um, LeafOS um, under the hood, it's a minimally sliced lockdown Linux operating system. And uh, it provides a secure lockdown environment, 100% uh, isolated uh, to allow user to access their desktop virtualization environment. And it can be used for repurposing. It can be used for BYOD. Uh, one of the uh, recent common requests and interest is the Windows 11 uh, migration. 
uh, as Windows 11 becomes more stable, uh, many organizations start to evaluate migrating from 10 to 11. And uh, some organizations, they bought PC laptop maybe two to three years ago, but they didn't realize um, you know, Windows 11 requires certain uh, you know, uh, TPM, hardware platform. So even though those devices may not be uh, really old, you know, pretty recent the last couple of years, um, they could not migrate to Windows 11 and they have come to us for help. In these cases, they can simply take the older PC laptop, they can convert that into a leave OS endpoint solution and run Windows 11 in the cloud. Um, so that has been a very uh, interesting emerging uh, use case uh, for ABD. Um, the other aspect is uh, going from traditional PC laptop uh, into a centrally locked down Linux endpoint. It really um, helped the admin um, you know, mitigate a lot of unnecessary uh, virus, uh, you know, the patch management feature. Um, so everything they can uh, easily control. Even with BYOD devices, uh, imagine uh, the user, uh, the employee share the same device as their kid, uh, their spouse, um, you know, who knows what application they downloaded. Uh, with a bootable pen drive, which um, the admin can create, it instantly provides a secure uh, computing environment that's completely isolated from the underlying operating system. So that prevents data leakage uh, and also protects against the potential malware. Um, the other really cool part is with PMC Endpoint Manager, we can actually remotely manage that USB pen drive. So you can uh, easily provision uh, this on the fly without ever touching the underlying uh, operating system. Um, so extensive use uh, peripheral support, uh, ability to add local applications, uh, different Linux applications. Uh, so uh, we have uh, you know, BPO deployment that want the uh, WebRTC, then they don't want to go through a uh, VDI session for voice quality. So they uh, deploy their own browsers uh, running locally uh, in LeafOS. So there's uh, several interesting use cases. Again, everything can be centralized through a sh single uh, pane of glass through PMC. Here are some of the common use cases with Leaf OS. Um, this can be used on any third-party hardware platform. Um, the user or the admin simply create a bootable pen drive. Um, they go to the device they want to repurpose. Uh, so the device may be running Windows 7, uh, where they simply don't want to deal with uh, you know, the win window maintenance uh, over time. They can do one-time conver conversion. Uh, basically, we uh, overwritten the underlying OS uh, with Leaf OS operating system. Typically, it takes about two to three minutes one time process. And once it is done, uh, we convert that into a you know secure, dedicated uh, endpoint solution uh, that can be uh, supported for multiple BDI. And from there, they can uh, you know access you know, Citrix, Microsoft, and so forth, uh, remotely, centrally managed by PMC endpoint. Manager. And one thing uh, we found out is uh, because the the um, the cloud computing um, architecture, the storage, the computing resource are done in the cloud. So even uh, PC laptop that are seven or eight years old, with you know, for example, two gigabyte of RAM minimum um, resources, we're able to convert that into a high performance. Uh, locked up BDI endpoints. Um, so it really helped them to extend the life of PC and also at the same time bring uh, much better security uh, and also bring much better performance. Uh, so it's a win win for uh, many organizations. The other popular use case uh, we have seen uh, is uh, BYOD. Uh, so this often happens, uh, for example, with BPO companies uh, when they have calling agents uh, who are working from home, and some company want to save costs by not providing, uh, you know, corporate uh, you know, computing device, and this is where it comes handy. Um, so LeafOS support um, secure boot 
um, it can securely uh, boot to the uh, underlying Linux operating system and turn that into a secure lockdown, uh, you know, computing environment from there they can access all the VDI uh, sessions. And this can be done without uh, modifying the underlying OS. Once the user is done, they simply unplug the USB pen drive, uh, they can reboot. And uh, so uh, it addresses the data you know, leakage problem. It also addresses the concern that, um, you know, the corporation does not want to touch personal devices for liability reasons. And at the same point, uh, providing a very secure computing environment uh, for, um, you know, the BYOD type of use cases. Um, so TCO, total cost ownership, uh, I think is one of the, the main reason uh, many customers are adopting this type of solution. At the heart of uh, total cost of ownership is the ongoing maintenance. PMC Endpoint Manager is our um, basically single pane of glass, uh, the solution uh, that can be easily deployed in the cloud uh, or on-premise. Uh, so you can be deployed on Azure Marketplace. In a matter of minutes, you can create a PMC virtual appliance. And from there, um, the admin can use the browser, any browser uh, from, from uh, any device to remotely manage all the uh, deploy and computing devices. Uh, the devices can be uh, in corporate network or it can be at home through you know, some personal uh, net routers or firewall. It doesn't matter. Uh, we have uh, our cloud uh, computing um, to help with the onboarding devices to make it really easy and simple. Once the device is on, on board, um, the admin can uh, easily provision the devices through the device profiles. So for example, they can say, hey, uh, this set of um, location, I want to provision the users with uh, Citrix. This is um, you know, the, uh, you can run in kiosk mode or enable certain USB peripheral redirection uh, all the way down to the granular level. They can predefine. So once the device is on board, it will automatically be provisioned. Patch management is very easy. Um, so like window patch management, uh, it, it's gonna take a long time. Uh, if you have BYOD device, that's a big concern. Uh, but with managed devices, pushing uh, firmware update can easily be done through a click a button. Uh, it can be scheduled, so it can be done while the devices are uh, not uh, during the, the work hours. Uh, so it provides admin with a lot of flexibility. Uh, monitoring is one of the very important area. If the user is experiencing issues, um, the admin can remotely shadow into the device, even if the device is being used at home. Uh, if uh, you know, if the admin believes there could be some local network issue uh, at the user's uh, endpoint, they can run remote network diagnostic. Uh, everything can be done remotely. Uh, live, uh, which is a very powerful tool. And there are many useful uh, dashboards on summaries the user, uh, the admin, uh, can examine uh, to find out uh, you know, any sort of uh, attributes that they care about. And also we provide extensive logging capability for auditing purposes. Uh, deployment, I mentioned it can be done in minutes. Uh, you know, Azure Marketplace uh, proved to be a very popular place for a customer to start POC, um, spin up an instance in a few minutes. We have the concept of uh, zero touch onboarding, meaning uh, the a brand new device can be connect to the internet at home, at corporate, and we have the cloud logic that will automatically uh, help organization to onboard those devices to PMC and automatically provision without ever touching a button. So from the end user experience standpoint, they just need to uh, connect to ethernet um, uh, or uh, Wi-Fi and the device will magically uh, provisioned uh, even if those are you know USB pen drive um, you know at home using your personal device. And um, end of the day, um, PMC uh, really provides a way to simplify the ongoing management. 
and slashing the ongoing maintenance costs is, is the key uh, benefit that uh, it enables. So in summary, um, going back to the, the problem, right, the ongoing challenges, um, you know, supply uh, chain shortages, uh, you know, hybrid working environment, and also proliferation of, um, you know, desktop as a service. And we provide a, a flexible solution, a leave OS that can uh, circumvent uh, the shortcomings. You can extend the useful life and by converting into a high performance uh, desktop computing device that is secure and centrally managed. You also help uh, Windows 11 migration without the need to update uh, new hardware. Uh, for co companies that really want to update uh, due to the cloud architecture, uh, they don't have to buy expensive PC laptop. Um, we have uh, several choices of affordable, but yet powerful endpoint, uh, all the way down to Raspberry Pi level, um, and then all the way up to the Intel endpoint level that provide them with a very compelling price performance solution. And Citrix, Microsoft, um, there are great partners. Uh, we have decades of a working relationship with them. Uh, the solution are trusted, certified, uh, and we have ongoing enhancement to continue to enhance our integration with them. And end of the day, I, I think what matters here is we help companies save money by slashing the TCO, whether it's the initial acquisition cost um, the ongoing maintenance cost, uh, or for some customer, the energy consumption is very important. Uh, and uh, we help them to save them uh, money along the way. So that uh, concludes the uh, computing uh, solution overview. And uh, I will pass back to Harvey. Sure, absolutely. So uh, I guess I'll, I'll first pause and just make sure that there are no questions out of uh, all of that, that that Richard went through. Um, I want to make sure that you guys who are on and, and paying attention that you get all of your questions answered. Don't don't leave here, you know, with questions still unanswered. We, we'd love to make sure that we get an answer to those. Uh, you probably aren't the only person harboring them. So. <laughs> um, all right, well, hearing none, uh, we'll go to the next one. So uh, here again, we've got a slide here around our Work Has No Boundaries campaign. Uh, definitely a place where you guys can, again, jump out there and register uh, at workhasnoboundaries.com. This is the QR code that you can just scan with your phone to get there, uh, but go out there and register so that we can get you a chance to win. We're also providing a free trial for a LeafOS license. Uh, so LeafOS, uh, you can, uh, once you have the trial license key, you can download it. Uh, you can burn it onto a flash drive, uh, boot to your pen, uh, boot to your PC laptop, or if you have really old device that you have no use, you can repurpose that and see how it performs for Citrix or for, um, for ABD uh, or other Microsoft or type of BDI solutions. Um, I forgot to mention uh, and also introduce my colleague here, uh, Spencer Simon, uh, oversees our North America sales. And uh, Hi, everybody. You have... Thank you, uh, Spencer. Um, so yeah. if you guys have any questions or inquiry, uh, feel free to drop an email for Spencer, and uh, we would love to hear back from you. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be uh, looking for those and we're happy to answer whatever questions you guys have, uh, you know, obviously even after the, the uh, webinar here. So let us know how we can help you guys out and how our solution may be a good fit. So um, Harvey, I think we do have uh, some time for a Q&A. So um, sure. any questions, feel free to ask. Or uh, Harvey, if you have any questions, uh, maybe we can open the table. Sure, yeah. Um, I guess the one thing that I want to highlight again, 
as you know, as you went through the models, just you have you got have a bunch of different models to fit the needs of your of the customers, you know, depending on whether or not they're using Citrix, ABD, whether or not it's for somebody who's using, you know, something that they just need access to see a virtual desktop or somebody who's doing something a, a little, you know, more fancy, I'll say, uh, you know, possibly need uh, some some beefier hardware to get done what they need every day. But again, still able to do that. And, uh, you know, then add, adding on the ability to uh, take on hardware that they already have and extend the life cycle of that, which uh, might already, you know, be something that you guys have and have been thinking about. So that's definitely something that I wanted to make sure was, was mentioned again. Um, that's, that's a point that, that I don't think you can say enough, honestly. Um, did get a question in, uh, so I'll read it here. Just for clarification, does in computing provide their own cloud space? Yeah, so in computing, we provide uh, software stacks uh, that support uh, different VDI platform. Uh, so we do not uh, provide our own cloud space. Uh, so for example, for Citrix, we are the enabler uh, based on their uh, API and SDK to access uh, virtual apps, virtual desktop, and uh, their workspace. Uh, for Microsoft, uh, for example, ABD or Windows 365 is running in the cloud, uh, managed by Microsoft on Azure, and we provide the enabler solution. We integrate with their SDK uh, so they can securely access the endpoint from our uh, devices. Regarding uh, PMC Endpoint Manager, uh, also it's a software stack solution. Um, you can install that on premise, um, you know, uh, as an OVA, for example, it's a Linux virtual appliance. Uh, we have also listed our solution on Azure Marketplace. Um, so if you have an Azure account, you can easily spin up an instance we predefined and get it going. Um, so, uh, so we are the solution stack providers here. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> All right, any other questions? All right, hearing none. Richard, Spencer, any parting thoughts? Um, I think, um, you know, from, from my tenure at then computing, uh, we are very customer centric in the sense um, we hear and we listen to our customers. So if you have some interesting use cases um, that uh, you're interested to explore, uh, we would love to hear it. And we start to see more and more adoptions uh, into the, the desktop as a service offering. And what that means is uh, you no longer need a very powerful endpoint device. And uh, that really democratize um, the type of solution that we can use uh, to provide you with a very secure uh, computing environment uh, with a PC-like uh, performance and uh, centrally managed. Um, and, and I think this is a very interesting time in DDI, I think, uh, it has gathered a lot of interest uh, due to uh, Microsoft. They have really trying to democratize uh, the VDI market by providing a easier to use and deploy solution. Uh, at the same time, I think Citrix uh, provides um, a very unique value proposition for and uh, large uh, enterprise customers. So through uh, either of the two platforms, you know, I, I think we have a great offer. So we're here to listen. Um, we'll be more than happy to connect with you if you have interests or if you want to inquire. All right. Well, thanks again to everybody who joined today. Please, again, feel free to reach out to us to uh, ask questions. If you want to see demos, things like that, we, we definitely will be able to, to help you with those. And uh, we would love to talk to you more about it.
Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Harvey, for uh, jumping on with us. And thank you, Zentegra. Uh, again, yeah, if you guys need anything, feel free to reach out to End Computing or Zentegra. Uh, we work as a, you know, a tight partnership. And I'm sure you guys realize that uh, we have working with Zentegra in the past. So uh, thanks again. And uh, we look forward to connecting with you guys. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Everybody have a good day now. Okay. Bye.